finishing Year 7 at Bull Nurse School. Hi, my name's Ben. I'm a parent with two children going into years 13 and 11 next year here at Bullmash and a third child who's starting in year 7 next year. When I was writing this speech, I thought about the things that I wanted to know a few years ago when I first started looking at a secondary school for our daughter. The first and most important thing we wanted to know was will she be happy at the school? And I'm pleased to say that she is. Thinking about our time here at Bullmash, there's three areas that jump out as real positive signs. Firstly, the academic side. There's a real desire here at Bullmurch to make the most of each of the individual pupils and to really see them achieve whatever they can on the academic side. And that, that sense of shared purpose that the school gets across is really evident when you meet the teachers and heads of years and the different departments here. Even taking into account lockdown over the last few months, there's been a real desire for the support for pupils to continue over that time and despite the challenges to make the most of the opportunity, particularly with two children going into exams next year. She's made lots of new friends, as well as still seeing a lot of her friends from her primary school days. She's made these new friends through her lessons, through her tutor group, and through the clubs that she does join does and enjoys. She plays netball, football, and rugby, and she really enjoys those. And she also really likes the drama club. There are lots of other clubs too that she could join if she wanted to. The second area is the opportunities outside the academic that are available here at Bournemouth. First example of that is the bushcraft camp that's been a real highlight for both our first two children and my third one's already looking forward to it before she starts. Secondly, the theatrical productions here at Bournemouth are fantastic and giving opportunities both in front of the stage and behind and actually providing things that you wouldn't typically expect from a, from a school in that scenario. And lastly, the plethora of groups that are available here give the pupils a real chance to try lots of different things and then to follow whichever ones are interesting for them. It's also reassuring for us and her to know that if she had ever had any problems that were making her worried or unhappy, she could go to the Ivory Centre for more support and help. The second thing I wanted to know was whether she would be taught at the right level for her abilities. And again, I'm pleased to say that she is. The lessons seem to be pitched at the right level, keeping her interested mostly, um, and with enough challenge um, that she doesn't get bored, but also doesn't feel pressured. I don't know how the school does it with so many students. They do have regular assessments so they can keep track of how they're getting on, but again, these seem to happen without her feeling unnecessarily pressured. And lastly, the area that really jumps out is the support that the children and the families get here at Bullmash. And that cuts across all the teachers that we've come across, from our tutors to all the way up to the senior leadership team. I really like the fact that the school offers a broad curriculum and not just a narrow academic one. There are lots of core subjects that she's already familiar with from her primary school days and then also new things such as tech, languages and science. She's got some great stories to do with Bunsen Burners. This range of subjects gives her a chance to try out new things and find her interests before she has to decide what to focus on at a later date. Another thing that interested me was what would be my involvement as a parent. People tell you that when your kids go to secondary school don't have that direct personal contact so much anymore, you don't know who their friends are and so on, and that is mostly true, but I guess that's how it's supposed to be, our children are growing up, becoming independent young people. But I wouldn't say that we're shut out as parents, there's a real and genuine sense that we are all a community, the school, the kids and us, the parents. It's really easy to get in touch with teachers if you need to, plus I've had teachers call me occasionally to tell me how well she's doing with things and also in recent times to deal with more tricky situations. And there's a real focus on the individual here, but there's a real understanding that there's a person behind every pupil story and that's focused on within the school. Transitions is also a really good example of how this uh, uh, comes across to parents and pupils. And having had three children that have gone through that now, that's been really evident, particularly with our third, who's had to do it through the, the recent issues with COVID. Um, and despite all of that, she's really looking forward to her time here starting in September. And that positive start that all three children have got has really been the start of the journey within Bournemouth and has set the tone for the years ahead. Mrs Woodfin also sends out regular communications which are fantastic for keeping us informed about what's going on and keeping us up to date. Of course, one thing I didn't think about a few years ago was how the school would cope in a global pandemic. All the things that I've already talked about have really come into their own over the last few months. The regular and ongoing communication from Mrs Woodfin has again been brilliant in keeping us all informed as to what's happening and keeping us up to date. 
and the lessons have provided the right level of structure but also flexibility that works for different students. And there is more support available if you need it. All in all, I'm really glad that Paul Mersh is my daughter's school. <laughs>